Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studios here with the Vector Tools tutorial. And um, I did draw these when uh, I actually didn't show you guys the video I made. I didn't post a video because <clears throat> I felt that it wasn't as um, important as some of the other things. So I drew these two things in um, the one I was deciding what style I wanted Castle Art to be in. And um, the style I'm going to go with is going to look more like this. But um, it could be sort of, I was trying to test whether I wanted it to be the sort of angular looking or it's just sort of simple looking and it's gonna be sort of a mix of the two so <clears throat> uh, one of these I'll show you guys my actual sketchbook um, not a virtual sketchbook but you know an actual one and, uh, and I'll show you guys how it really looks when I draw it so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys how to use these vector tools down here now to, just a disclaimer for the video I don't know what all of them do I know what most of them do um, so for the first one is called the doesn't want to give me the name now so um, I'm just gonna just call this the control point editor which basically means that you can grab your vector lines, right? <clears throat> Tap that, and then you get the, you get this all these nodes around. So, if I move the white node in the middle, it actually changes the curve of the line. I know it looks kind of strange, it's like, like his head just turned into an eggplant. And if you move these, you can sort of change the, you know, curvature of the line. And it's very, very useful um, for when you really all you got to do is put down a line, and you can just edit it later. In fact, that's how um, it makes making cartoons such as a lot of flash animated cartoons. Um, really, really easy to do in OpenTunes. It's just surprising why op how OpenTunes is still free. So, yeah, so that's that's the control point, or whatever it wants to be called in there. And I believe this one is sort of a curve editor. I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, oh, no. This one is a line sort of... Uh, it's I can really only call it line manipulator. You can take stuff like this and sort of just move it according to what um, line you're picking. So you can move it by a certain, like, I guess, um, it get, has a certain different kind of give depending on where you click it from. As you guys know, I don't know what all these do. I'm sure this one, I know it does. It's, um, whether you want to make your lines thicker or <clears throat> skinnier. Now, I chose a special kind of vector line, so this splitting up between probably won't happen to you. I chose a special kind of vector line that sort of, um, has that texture. So, I'll show you guys how to do that too, I guess. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So you can sort of drag up and down in order to make your lines thicker or skinnier. In this case, I want it to be skinnier. Um, especially for the eyes in Castle Dark are going to be quite thick. So I'm going to give them thicker eyes. And why not? A thicker brow, for that matter. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to look more like that in the final rendering. So <clears throat> that's that. And then there's the magnet tool, which is very strange. You sort of just like, you know, um, a lot of these you're going to have to find your own use for because I couldn't tell you if I wanted to um, you can just sort of go around magnetizing things <clears throat> and doing that sort of thing um, and for this tool I am not sure what it does at all it seems to just sort of shorten oh shorten the curvature of the line which oh sort of smooths out the curve of the line which is kind of nice and the knife tool I'm not sure skeleton tool hook tool and plastic tool I'm not I never tried the hook tool but um <clears throat> seems interesting so <laughs> that's all the vector tools I really know how to use and a lot of them that I've already showed you are really the important ones in my opinion I guess because um, <clears throat> I mean the matter tool is useful but I'm not really sure what um, you use it for I believe that this is one of the most essential tools right here the control point editor or whatever node editor what is this thing called why, it, why won't it tell me anyway <clears throat> you can select a different kind of uh, vector line when you go to your style editor and you go to vector brush section you have all these kind of vector lines you can select them. So let's select this one. And then I believe it will auto apply. Yep, it auto applies. And then your all your vector lines change to the change to that sort of thing. So let's select an O. Why not? Ooh, that's interesting. How about this? Okay. Tunes harmony. Tunes. <laughs> and then you can do that. <clears throat> so this is a very nice one looking for Castle Dark. Try this one. I like the paint. Ooh, I love the paintbrush feel. I'm probably going to save this one. And then how about this one? This is very paintbrushy, also. Very, very nice. Interesting. So, <clears throat> uh, well, OpenTune seemed to have frozen. Oh, that's what it looks like. So that one's a little more trippy. So, um, yeah, OpenTunes will tend to <laughs> freeze up a little bit when you select the vector brushes, as my computer is not the best. So that's all you got for this, guys. It's gonna, it's gonna unfreeze soon. Um, that's what we got for the vector tools. Um, of my knowledge, of course, because I'm just sharing my knowledge. I'm no, by no means an OpenTunes. Um, expert, 
But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.